Hi friends, welcome to HTL Lectures. Today we are going to study how to apply for import export code shortly known as IEC. So let's see. The registration of import export code is controlled by Director General of Foreign Trade. Hence you have to take the registration from their website. The link for the website I have given in the description or you can just google the DGFT website. Now let us see how to apply for IEC registration. Go to service tab. From there you can see an option IEC. Under there you will see online IEC application option. Click on that tab. Then you reach a window where you can see what are the documents to be uploaded while applying for IEC code. It's given below. There are two documents required. The one is bank certificate or cancelled check. Second one is address proof of your firm. These two documents should be scanned and be ready when you apply for this IEC registration. After doing this, you can enter the PAN number in the column given above and go for search. Then this window will appear. There you have to give your name and the date of birth. If you are an individual, then you have to give your name as per the PAN and the date of birth. And if you are a firm or a company, then you have to give that company's name in the PAN and their date of incorporation. Enter the CAPTCHA and press the submit button. Then type your PAN number once again and press next button. Here you have to enter the mobile number, email ID and enter the CAPTCHA, click on generate OTP. Enter the OTP, press the submit button. In this window, you have to enter all the necessary details required for IEC registration. You can see in the above tab, there are some options given like entity details, branch details, directors or partners details, document uploading, fee payments. And you have to take a printout and preview this and you can submit at last. Okay, these are the entire procedure for IEC registration. Let's see first entity details. In the entity details, you have to enter the name of the form, their address, their bank details. Also, you have to give the applicant details. If you are a proprietor, then you can give your own name. If you are a firm or a company, then the managing partner or the director's details should be given. Anyone's details can be given. Okay, after that, you have to click update and save. Now you can see a message showing that firm details are updated and saved successfully you just have completed your entity details now you can go for other details the next item to be filled is branch details click on the branch details tab and enter the branch details if you have any additional place of business then you have to give all those details here currently i don't have any branch details to be filled so i'm leaving this blank the next tab is directors partners etc in here you have to give the details of the proprietor the partner or director based on the nature of business i have already entered my proprietor's details here you can add as many partners or directors in this option when you add, you can see it in the left side, the partners you have added and you can edit or view this at later time before submitting. The next thing you have to do is upload your documents. I have already said that you should be ready with two documents that is cancelled check or bank certificate and address proof. First I am going to upload my address proof. I select the document category as address proof and the document type PDF. Then have to click the choose file. Then I have to select the file from my computer and click on the upload file button then my address proof is uploaded in the same way you have to select the bank certificate or cancelled check then the document type should be selected that is pdf and choose the file and click on the upload file button when both the files are successfully uploaded and you can see a message here the file has been uploaded successfully this is how you upload documents in iec now we have to pay the government fee so click on the fee payment tab then a new window will open here all the details are pre-filled you don't have to edit anything you just have to click on the submit button and make the payment after clicking the submit button you can see a payment gateway window is open there you have to enter your payment details either debit card credit card or net banking whatever the way you can make the payment then you will get a payment successful message this you have to take a screenshot because it is only proof of your payment so it is best to take a screenshot of this message now you can come to the application window 
and you can continue your application process. Your fee payment have been made. You can verify the fee payment by clicking on the verify fee. There you just will get the notification that the fee payment has been verified. That is the only procedure. After that, you have to come to preview and print application. Here you can read out all the details that you have entered till now and confirm whether all the details are correct or not. Then you have to go to the last area of this page. There you have a self declaration to be given. All the things you have to read and confirm. Read out all the checkpoints and verify the status. Let us read the first one. Whether the details of proprietor name as filled in the directors or partners detail match with the name as PAN. So here you have to give yes in the status tab. Okay. In this way you have to complete all the declarations and then press on the print application button and save the application for your future reference. Now at last you have to submit the application procedure. Go to submit tab and select the office of director general of foreign trade at your place then confirm by clicking yes and press the submit button once again click the continue button now you can just submit and generate iec you just have to relax your iec will be mailed to your email id hope you all like this video so friends thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for future notifications